Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here, so, so lovely to have you. Today I am heading out on a little shopping trip with my mum. We're heading over to a big B&M, it's a huge B&M, which we absolutely love and we haven't been in ages. We kind of save up our trips to go together a lot and I can't remember the last time I went, I haven't been since. Really they put any proper autumn stuff out or definitely not Christmas stuff and I've been seeing online and mum's been sending me some reels on Instagram of the current stock in B&M and there seems to be some really Christmassy bits in and I could do the top up of some cleaning bits and stuff like that so just an all-round general mooch around B&M. Probably grab some lunch and maybe go to some other shops as well. Not sure where yet but we have like a little shopping complex which you'll have probably seen me go to a million times because it's like our favourite place to go ever and they have like a range, they have a TK Maxx, they have a Nando's which is my favourite and they have Next as well which has a big Next home in it, they have a Danelle, they literally have so many nice like homey everyday kind of shops, they also have a Hotel Chocolat now which has a cafe and they have a really big H&M as well so it's kind of like my perfect place to shop, I love H&M, I love home shopping, it's just a really great place. We're going to head out the door in a couple of minutes, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, it's a Sunday so we're just spending a really nice cosy day together and I'm just really excited. I'm gonna head across to hers, pick her up and then we're gonna head out and do some shopping. I'll show you some bits, take you with us, um, probably do a bit of a voiceover like I've done before, a little shop with me if we buy anything, which I'm probably assuming I will buy at least something, I will show you when I'm back. This jumper on which is M&S actually, it's very nice, very soft. I actually tried one on in my last video, I went on a come shop with me and we went to H&M, I did some try-ons in the fitting rooms and stuff and I tried on something very very similar to this and I'd forgotten that I had this which is really bad in my wardrobe. It is new this year so I don't know why I'd forgotten but it's so similar that I don't think I can justify getting the other one because it's literally like almost an identical colour. The other one had split sleeves and this one doesn't um, but it's really nice and soft. I have this colour and also the moly colour as well. So yeah, I mean, this is just the way forward with fashion at the minute. I absolutely love it. So I think I'll do a separate, at some point again, like shop with me to m and is a really big one and we can have a little wander around, especially in the lead up to Christmas. We've got such a busy time coming up. Before I blabber on it too much, I'm gonna get my stuff together and get in the car. Lovely mother-daughter shopping day. Just about to pop some perfume on. We've got a little perfume drawer going on in here at the minute. It's probably not the neatest thing in the world. This one is gonna be my perfume of choice. It's from a brand called Orentica, I think it said. It's the Royal Amber one. I got it for my birthday actually and it's so good. But it's about the £60, £70 pound price point, I think. So it makes it really good to wear as like an everyday, more everyday perfume. I have actually got quite a lot of different perfumes, which I love. And Chester's got quite a few in here as well. This was my recent Louis Vuitton one that I got. I had this Chloe one, which is really nice. Mason Francis, Baccarat Rouge, which is just delightful. Um, a lot of these are running very, very low there, like Pen Halligan's Halfetti, which is a classic, but that's running very, very low. And Gentle Fluidity, which I love, but again, is running pretty low. So these are kind of my two new ones, which are pretty full at the minute. You can probably see all the washing in the background. It's so difficult to get a washing dry at the minute because it's so cold and we haven't put the heating on properly yet. So we're trying to dry the washing in a pretty cold house. I only put this one out last night and it feels pretty dry to be fair, but I haven't put it away yet. Hence why there's washing on the door and everywhere. This is just reality. But yeah, wearing this one today, it's quite like, it's got like a bit of a sweet overtone. It's a little bit fruity, very deep and vanilla and woody, which I also love. So yeah, it's a great perfume. Spray it quite liberally, this one. And the bottle is so gorgeous. Love it. I think it's actually intended for sunglasses and jewelry, but it's definitely become a perfume store. <laughs> Definitely getting chillier and frostier outside. I'm kind of excited for the weather to drop. Temperature seems to be getting a bit more cosy. I feel like there's some little like, not frost, but definitely a big layer. Maybe it is frost slash condensation on the back windscreen. So I, I'm excited. I think the temperature's definitely dropped and we've gone really into that more autumnal period because we've been having such a like random weather. Um, it's been going from anything from like, 20 degrees to like three degrees. It's four and a half at the minute. Four and a half degrees. Oh gosh, that is so cool. It's like quarter past 10 in the morning and four and a half degrees. Mm -hmm. 
So let's go on a trip to B&M. We had such a great wander around and look at all the stuff. There was so much stuff to look at. Went with my mum as usual and we had a good little wander. So first of all, looked at all the cleaning products. They had some seasonal things in and this power bathroom stuff is so good. They had Mrs. Hinge frosted eucalyptus. They had like wintry spice ones and things like that. So they had lots of Christmas things in and like Christmas chocolates, these selection boxes, but we looked around kind of in order. So we started with the cleaning things. I thought this was really cute. I don't really know why I'd use it but it's kind of like an air freshener and you can refill it which I think was really cool and I loved this this was definitely straight in my basket because I've seen it online and things but I also kind of regret not getting this which was the winter indulgence cream and it's really good for cleaning down the surfaces and the induction hob like I said they had a lot of seasonal things they had apple crumble air fresheners and they also had this no place or snow place like home which I loved. They did have quite a lot of autumnal scents but there was a lot of Christmas stuff in. This was the same as that kind of air freshener I showed earlier but just in a re-diffuser. They had Christmas washing up liquid, Christmas minky sponges, Christmas scrub mummies. They literally have everything for your festive needs. I have one of these dish daddies and they are really good. You just put washing up liquid in them and they're so good for washing up and not ruining a fresh manicure. I loved Mrs. Hinch's new range as well with Lenore it's the frosted rose wonderland and it smelled beautiful these were very neutral and very in theme with my kind of taste love the pegs kind of basket as well storage jar they also had the labels but these are the spice jar labels but you'll see in a minute that I found the actual pantry labels as well thought that hairbrush would be really nice just for a handbag when you want to freshen up your hair especially when it's so windy now and that hair curler was very good value it's about 20 pounds so a great little Christmas present then on to the Christmas things this is the white company dupe loved that I also loved those LED Christmas tree candle type things but they're battery powered I still need a new toilet brush so I'm kind of on the hunt for one of those but I haven't found one that's the best the right thing yet loved all the storage and bathroom things I needed a new bin so I just picked up this small little cheap one it was only £2.50 and yeah I did kind of like this toilet brush too to be fair but um, I didn't get it but maybe I should have and then I'm kind of on board with the plain wrapping and then spice it up with a bit of ribbon or a nice bow and a good tag they had so much storage like a ridiculous amount of storage options I really liked the design of these I don't need a huge amount more like storage things at the minute but if I was kind of kitting out a new house or refreshing I think they have some amazing options like way more than I've ever seen before perfect things for fridges drawers everything like that all your organizational needs then on to some homey stuff so they had that electronic diffuser which is a great little alternative dupe and perfect for around the house they had so many cozy blankets and cushions I feel like Fofa is really really in we did just get some new blankets so i didn't need any but they were very very tempting and this rug was so incredibly soft it was amazing loved this wax melter truly neutral collection i'm actually launching some wax melts so watch this space for that and then a few little other bits and rediffusers candles lots of different home decorative pieces these were less like christmas orientated than just all year round thought these were incredibly good value like two mirrored trays for five pounds thought it was so good they'd make a great like display for perfumes or jewelry perhaps and yeah some more little christmas bits that were sprinkled in but i feel like they've been there all year so they're a bit random i loved this i nearly got it i put it in my basket and i put it back um i also loved these they're like little tea lights with christmas trees on top i'm not sure how great they would be to actually burn but they looked very very pretty also loved this and this i just loved everything that's why i picked them all up but that little gingerbread tea light holder was really sweet some kind of basic everyday tea towels too a few of these things are a little bit more constant but i hadn't seen these double walled mugs before which are usually really expensive i've had some that are quite similar and they cost a fortune from amazon so they were really good value i have these um table placemats and they're so nice i've had them for like well over a year and they are perfect they had a lot of lovely glassware and mugs to choose from ribbed mugs really nice patterns and designs and storage jars they had little spoons they had glass straws they honestly had so much stuff and here are the kitchen and organization labels i have been looking for those for months so they definitely came home with me and i loved these little autumnal bun cases if you're like an avid baker or you like to bake buns for guests i thought they were really nice this acacia wood serving board is really nice and i think it'd look gorgeous as like a display as well in the kitchen loved these dog toys they had the dog toys the treats the little poo bag holders and also dog bowls that were all similar and these hot water bottles were super soft for eight pounds i think that's such a good like white company dupe they come in at around 36 pounds i think so yeah massive massive saving and super really soft and great quality 
actually got this tree skirt, like wicker tree skirt, or a very, very similar one from B&M last year. I think it was around £25, but super premium quality, and I loved the colour of it. And then we were into like the proper Christmassy aisles. Loved this chocolate selection that might be on my list of Santa. I think that was about £10, so quite expensive, but had so much nice kinder stuff. They had loads of different ranges, like green, more rustic kind of country ranges. They had more pink and girly, black and white ranges, things with spots and more like writing on it they honestly had so many nice things i really liked this wrapping paper they had lots of nice christmas card options like things to decorate your tree with this faux fur kind of tree skirt these little houses which my mum got which are so sweet and they light up as well so she's already put them up in her house i loved those little tree decorations they had one without the snow and also with the snow and they had a snow globe they had lots of these little kind of white company dupes the little stars like rustic stars the little porcelain or like ceramic houses that were really sweet i just don't know exactly what i do with them and these like i really liked these i didn't love the strings that were on them but like what would i do with them i guess you could hang them on a tree but i just don't feel like i have a use for them there was a lot of stuff that i liked the look of but exercise self-control with but yeah really nice little bits i loved that sign i loved just everything and christmas is like my favorite time of the year so looking around these things is just like my favorite now onto the chocolate i mean the best bit surely i love festive friends we both do chester and i and they had so many beautiful like really Christmassy chocolates. They had this deluxe food hamper, which looked really good. It had like jams and biscuits and all sorts of stuff. And it was exclusive to B&M. I think it was about 20 pounds or 25 pounds. Came in a really nice wicker basket too. They had this cute little candle, these like Christmassy candles. And I think at some point I might buy this to be fair. It's beautiful, I love that. And this mug did get picked up. Me and mum debated it for a while and then we put it back. I feel like I already have like two sets of Christmas mugs from last year and I probably don't need any more but don't hold me to that because maybe in the future you might see me buying more and they had lovely Christmas tree kind of serving dishes and serving plates they had those little Christmas tree um table place setting get my words out table place setting holders where you could put your name cards in which were really nice lots of different decorations beautiful things then about two hours later, after all that shopping, we headed for Nando's. That's me and mum attempting to have a cheers, which didn't go down too well. I got all the carbs. It was so good. And then we walked around a few more shops. So we went to Next, specifically Next Home, which was pretty busy. But they had lots of lovely, lovely Christmas things in. You guys probably know I love Next Home. It's a little bit more of on the expensive side, but everything's really premium. Loving the gingerbread theme. Um, I don't, I've never really been that into the gingerbread theme, but it's really, really sweet. And I loved this color. Cushion. it's definitely on the wish list super cute this blanket was gorgeous 60 pounds you know a little bit steep a little bit more expensive but very very beautiful and this is kind of the equivalent of their pumpkins it's like the hello pudding and the christmas pudding vibes they had so many lovely rediffusers and scents and i actually think next home do really really good candles rediffusers in particular like strong scents um, i know my sister has a rediffuser at her house and it's really really strong so they're good they're then we headed into Dunelm, which is a proper underdog, I would say. Really nice things. That wreath is gorgeous. I loved that. And yeah, they had a few different options, but they had lots of different lovely little ornaments and decorations. I loved that little wooden reindeer. It's so cute. And I loved this. I mean, again, I'm not sure exactly what I'd do with it, but a little clear bell with some mistletoe in. And they had lots of little themes the green theme the cute little nutcracker i feel like i might go back at some point and get a few little bits from Dunelm because it did have some really nice things all super reasonably priced around the three pound mark two pound fifty mark so yeah really great price they also had these bags which my mum suggested and it's a really good idea could double up as great gift bags but then they become like reusable you can maybe take them to work with you on shopping trips and things they had some centicles i've seen those in a few stores already that you can kind of put inside your Christmas tree for or your artificial Christmas tree for a more authentic scent they had that really big it was huge candle they seem to be bringing out those white company dupes all over I loved the artificial flowers they have a really good selection and I loved that kind of like champagne -y, wintry pink color very 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 pretty oh there's some more of those white company dupe candles they are literally everywhere I think every single so shop has them at the minute they had these really nice lanterns my mum's been eyeing those up for the longest time I mean just all persuaded to buy them because she just needs to then we headed for a little mooch in the range it was much 
much of the similar things that we'd already seen before and I think I've shown in some previous videos but they do have some really nice things I love those like Christmas candle holders they were really sweet Christmas tree candles there's a lot of similar themes coming out and I got that little Christmas tree candle holder for my birthday as well so that was really nice they had some Christmassy oils just like lots of display things um, and also lots more artificial flowers you can get them in so many places now quite reasonably per stem so I think I saw some in M&S last week which like £16 a stem and it just seems very steep you can also get all your Christmas cleaning products if this would be of your interest and up your street very very sweet and funny and then we headed into H&M had a little wander around I saw this blazer which is pretty much identical to one that I have I think I'm wearing it at some point in this video it's very very similar big chunky knits are in autumn winter fashion is just my thing I loved this blouse it's very different to things that I have in my wardrobe but really liked that and it was only £12.99 saw this coat loved the colour of it didn't know if I'd look a little bit like you know a bit puffy in it um, but I went into the changing rooms and tried some things on the H&M changing rooms I find well certainly these ones are really nice so firstly I tried the coat on and like I thought it was just very stiff I felt really puffy in it and it just wasn't the best and then I tried on the coat which I tried on the last video I tried it on size down and I much preferred getting the medium and sizing down in it I loved it sold instantly my mum liked it too try this blazer on do really like it I just didn't love it like it wasn't straight in my basket type thing and I do have a lot of blazers so I feel like I need to be a bit selective about it but I did love the colour it looked really premium like the wool blend and yeah sorry about the bra but obviously this needed a vest top underneath which I didn't have um but yeah so it's very sheer but beautiful sleeves beautiful prints and this was my current outfit of the day which I love it's just such a go-to like comfy leggings love this blazer it's got so much wear and just a nice comfy knit underneath so yeah, I made some purchases which I will show you in a moment and then the final shop we went in was TK Maxx we'd been on a little bit of a shopping spree we've been out for a good few hours I think the shops are closing by this point but we saw some lovely Christmas bits I feel like when you go to TK Maxx it's get it or regret it I think that needs to be like the new catchphrase get it or regret it because things are so limited you see them one week the next week you go in they're gone but they had lots of lovely little novelty things this dashan cushion that was entertaining us I loved this little candle but I felt like it was very similar to the kind of rustic candle holder that I recently got I loved all the Christmas dishes I think they would be a really nice tradition and I loved them this. I may have purchased this it's really really sweet I also saw this they had other kind of like homeware bits I mean they have so much stuff in TK Maxx you could completely get lost and then after we'd finished our shopping trip we went back to my mum's just had a chilled evening which was lovely we put the fire on we snuggled up we watched a film and um, we ended up having some pizza because we had literally shopped until we had dropped so we got some pizza there we had some cookies and yeah just chilled for the evening which was so so lovely Work. it's already like dark outside like it's gonna be every night now you might be able to see this massive box in the background and that's because my new dressing table chair arrived today but they have sent it with like two well actually four like screw things missing then i think we'll be able to sort it anyway um but we're going to contact the company and see if they can send out what they should have sent out in the first place with the screws is a little bit annoying because we can't obviously assemble it and start using it straight away pop this blazer on actually which i got last year from h&m they've got something that is pretty much exactly the same i feel like this fits better though because i feel like last year it didn't do up maybe it did i can't really remember so now we're going to head out to costco the aim is to get another one of those really cozy blankets i showed it at the end of the last video we're hoping to get another one of those if they're still available I'm sure they've been really, really popular, so they might already be all sold out. So I'm trying to go with expectations that they might not have any. But if they have them, then we're going to get them. Normally when we go to Costco as well, our freezer is always like really full. And we very long story short, just left the freezer open and everything defrosted and needed throwing away. Silver lining to that situation is we have an empty freezer that we can now fill. I'm just going to have a little wander around, see what's new in. It wasn't that long ago since we last went, but hopefully it'll be a bit quieter this evening show you around some of the bits, do a little shop with me to Costco and yeah I'll let you know if we get anything. I only show you the bits as well from yesterday's shopping trip with my mum which was such a lovely day, I had such a great fun day as I knew we would, it was such a nice day. I think Costco closed at half past eight, Shasta said, it shouldn't take us too long to get there so we'll be able to have 
good little look round. Yeah, excited to go for a little Costco shop. So let's go on a little shopping trip to Costco. I will show you around and show you the bits that we saw. So it was just like a random weekday evening, but still pretty busy. You can see that these have been raided, the blankets, and I was searching for them. And then I picked up one of the things and saw underneath that there were loads of the blankets, which I was delighted about. So I managed to get one of those. The towels from Costco are really good as well. They have the big luxury bath sheets, which are really big and they're great. I think we have quite a few of those. They also have loads of children's books and not just children's books, but books in general and um, more like non-fiction books as well, which are really nice. I also saw they had a velvetizer in. I don't think it was particularly cheaper with the VAT um, than you could just buy it like on office somewhere i think it was about 84 pounds so maybe 10 15 pound saving they also had these fleece lined kind of t-shirts and base layers they have a lot of clothing things socks bras um underwear little zip ups things like that they have quite a lot of clothing for men and women and then we went on to the christmas section i feel like this is becoming a very christmas shop with me kind of theme they had these really like they felt really nostalgic like tags and also ribbons which I would never be able to create a ribbon like that but I have bought some of this before when I made the ribbons for the Christmas tree so it is a great ribbon we also saw these big packs of crackers I think they were quite good value for kind of what they had in them and lots of Christmas cards which again were pretty good value then we went on to the Christmas decorations which are bold loud and very very brash but that's all in the spirit of Christmas isn't it love this little reindeer family and then i spotted that mickey which is was huge i don't think it does it justice at all and then i saw the price which without that it was 499 with that it was just short of 600 pounds which is absolutely wild you could basically go on a trip to disneyland for well maybe not but a budget trip to disneyland for 600 pounds but still that is so so expensive they had so many children's toys, cute little kind of ornaments and Christmas decorations and things. I just think you could imagine going around to like your grandma's house or seeing these and growing up with these and always thinking, oh, we'll get out of the loft when we're older. Um, little like Mickey statue, Goofy statue or like a little carousel or something. I just thought they were really, really sweet and traditional. They had so many different ones and then lots of toys. Chester was kind of in his element. Mario Kart, like scale -up tricks i mean that looked so cool then they had some random pumpkins thrown in there and then we were on to the sweets the sweets and desserts and things at costco are amazing but everything is just so huge how would chester and i finish that whole chocolate cake it's just massive these danish pastries are my favorite we used to get these when we were younger but it's better when there's a family of four eating them but when there's just chester and i and i don't think he's the biggest fan anyway we just would not eat them they had a lot of branded things as well like calf kids and things these were really good value they were nine pounds 99 for like I think it was like 12 or something hand creams you could even split them up or gift them all to one person they had some Korean skincare they had that light up mirror which I thought was really good and all these kind of like squish mellows which are so soft I mean I definitely don't need one of those but I can see why people want them because they are amazing they had advent calendars they had chocolate but a lot of it's like novelty and really great for gift giving these little nutcrackers that had fudge in them I believe or milk chocolate fudge they had lint selections which again were pretty good value they had these kind of handcrafted chocolates all different flavors and just thought they'd make a really nice gift they had this mulled wine set had the cups the wine um little biscuits and things as well and these huge crackers that were full of chocolate i mean that's just a dream let's be honest he would absolutely love that they were 25 pounds or so then they had a gingerbread house which i imagine would start many an argument so i thought these gingerbread decorating kits might be more appropriate certainly for the more amateur and less patient of us and then we went over to the fridges to start stocking up on all the good stuff. We saw this absolutely gigantic block of cheese. And at first I thought it was four pounds, like 50 or whatever it said on the price tag. And then I realized that that was per kilogram. And I can't remember how many kilograms it was, but obviously it worked out more expensive, but still pretty good value. They have that giant, 
giant thing of Lurpak. They have milk. If you have like a big family or you want to stockpile, this is your place to go. They have everything in bulk. But some things are a bit more reasonable. Like you could easily get those um, kind of fish cakes. We got some of these chicken tenders and things. They're not too big to fit in the freezer and certainly not when they're resealable. Um, like the fish and things only serves like six to eight. So you could easily just feed like one family with that. We got some ice creams. These haagen tubs are very, very good value. I can't remember the exact price, but I think they're probably around like 10 pounds or so and it's about 10 pounds or I think it's about five pounds for one packet of them in the shops we've got some pizzas and they're great as well because they just come in like a pack of two it's nothing too big some spring rolls they had gyozas they have, they have lots of great little things you can cook for a quick meal or quick little snack or something these chicken bakes are what they actually serve in the cafe as well like the little yeah is it called the Costco cafe I guess if not I've named it they also have so many drinks again everything's in bulk they have prime I thought prime was really difficult to get well apparently not because they have bottles of it cans of it and loads and loads of it they also have these lovely little gifts with the lint bear the lint hot chocolate and also a mug as well all cellophane up so easy if you're a Starbucks frappuccino lover I think these weren't the salted caramel I think they were like mocha or something like that but they were very reasonably priced even things like tampons they were great value you and they had tan like two bottles of tan for approximately 10 pounds is really really good and these huge bottles of champion conditioner like they have a lot of things that are big and bulky and well it's just a wholesaler isn't it so everything's in bulk and big sizes i love these grenade protein shakes and they were a lot cheaper than buying them on amazon i think they're about 12 pounds for the pack and i think on amazon the cheapest is about 19 loved these wafers obviously because they say chloe on them that was a sign sealed delivered kind of straight in the basket moment they had so much chocolate again this is just dangerous isn't it i mean me buying that amount of bulk chocolate is never a good idea they also had these little lint um boxes which i thought were good value because they were about nine pounds for four well obviously if you split those across four people's gifts then it makes it quite inexpensive we waited in a queue for ages the queue was massive so yeah we kind of felt that was essential so ate our pizza and then headed back to the car but all in all i think a very very successful costco trip so we're back from Costco and these are all the foodie bits we got. We tried not to go too overboard because so much stuff comes in huge packaging. Obviously it's like a wholesaler. Everything is in huge quantities and we just do not have like space storage capacity for that. If we if we had like loads of storage space then we'd probably buy stuff in bulk but we don't. Anyway I'll show you what we got before I put it away in the freezer. We've got a completely empty freezer at the minute so lots of space for things. So firstly got this massive bag of gyozas which are vegetable and chicken ones. There are 70 gyozas in there. We've got some of the flaming chicken tenders. I don't know it's been a while since I've had the flaming ones. The premium chicken tenders i think they're called the other ones are so good but these just sort of like they're in a bit of a spicy coating and we now love spicy food then i got some of this peking duck spring rolls again i'm obsessed with spring rolls and spring rolls are usually really good calories yeah they're 85 calories a spring roll so perfect i don't particularly like these but chester loves mozzarella dippers or mozzarella sticks as these are called rodeo joes so got them for the freezer got two of these i think these were about seven pounds fifty which is or seven pounds or so. so it's like three pound fifty a pizza but they are super nice and a bit more like premium shall i say premium pizzas with the sourdough and nice and spicy pepperoni um ice creams i think i said last time i'm a bit obsessed with ben and jerry's slash harken dolls at the minute so these have the mini cups there's dolce de leche belgian chocolate cookies and cream and strawberry cheesecake all of which i like i've got some of these soft and chewy this is just by costco's own brand and soft and chewy granola bars which have basically got oats and chocolate in them and they're probably not the best things in the whole world but they look really yum and there's 64 of them <laughs> not sure what we're gonna do with 64 of them but they're 100 calories a bar so i thought they'd be a nice little snack and then the final thing which was pretty much solely influenced by the fact that they're called chloe's but these looked so nice chloe's wafer rolls hazelnut and cocoa crispy wafer with a smooth hazelnut and cocoa cream center and they've got chloe's on them and they were four pounds fifty so they look delightful got a couple of blankets as well but i'll show you them with the other homey bits when i pick this vlog back up probably tomorrow for tonight i think we're just going to have a few little bits i think just wants mozzarella 
sticks and some chicken tenders. I might have chicken tenders and some spring rolls. I think these were 9.99, so very good value. And I think these were as well. These were probably slightly more expensive. These were probably around the 10 pound mark too. So you do get really good value for money, but there's some things that are like huge. And unless if you need tons of it, scale of economies wise, there's literally just no point in buying it. These things, really good value. I thought I would sit down in my usual place and show you through a bit of a haul, a bit of the things that I've got in this video so far. I'm trying to remember which bits I've actually bought in this video because I've done a lot of shopping recently. We had such a great day. We spent like the whole day together. As always, shopping, chatting, catching up. We went for a cheeky Nando's, which I'm a massive fan of, and obviously my mum loves too, and she's always um, she's always quite happy to be my Nando's companion with me. When we go into B&M, I completely lose track of time. When I was catching Chester up on our day, he was saying, how long did you spend out and about, and like in B&M, how long were you there for this time? And I was like, I actually don't know, but we went, we met at about half past 10-ish, maybe 11, and I don't think, we went for lunch about half past one, so I think we were probably in, being in for about two, two and a half hours minimum. Um, and yeah, it just went by so fast, but they have so much like new stuff and just bits to look at. Some really good bits, some really great Christmassy bits, the stuff that's going out like, kind of viral on Instagram and TikTok. So some stuff was um, not available or in very limited quantities. And to be fair, I've really tried to rein it in with the Christmas so far. I can't remember what I've got in the loft. And also as a bit of an ad lib story, last year we put we, when we moved into this house last year it was our first christmas and the previous christmas so or two christmases i think actually i moved out three years ago this will be like the fourth christmas so the first two years we had like a really big grand tree if you've been around watching the channel for a while you may remember it i put like literally my heart and soul into this tree it was gorgeous like a really big space for it and then when we moved here, because the rooms are quite angular, basically, long story short, there just isn't space for the big tree. There isn't really space for a big tree at all. So we bought like one of those slim trees. When your expectations are already pretty high because you had this incredible tree, it's even worse than normal because it's not just kind of like that standard tree. It's like a slimmer one. And really, it just looked rubbish in the corner. I I mean, it was it was fine. It's fine for the space. It fits perfectly in the space, like next to the TV because we don't want anything too big where we're blocking the TV. What we said was we might like reconfigure a little bit in here and like push the sofa back a little bit and then put one just behind where the camera is now. Um, but we'll have to kind of get all tidied up, move the sofa, measure up, and it will involve getting a new tree. Like I say we've kind of got both ends of the spectrum. We've got this one that's really big. I can't remember how tall it is now, but I want to say like eight or eight and a half foot tall and like a really big base. And then this other one that we've got, I think it's still about seven foot um or seven and a half foot but it's much slimmer one it's a little ad lib story but the point of that was kind of hold back from buying too much christmas stuff because i don't know what i have i don't know what the plan's going to be with christmas trees and christmas decorations this year um we are planning on going away we haven't booked it yet but we keep saying we're going to book it we just haven't got around to it so if we go away we'll be away for a substantial part of december so yeah, we're just figuring stuff out and that is a very long winded way of me saying that I'm trying to have self control and not buy too many Christmassy things. But my mum got the cutest little like light up houses and they had loads of lovely ceramic little decorations and they had a really nice, I actually picked it up and then put it back. That was me exercising my very little self control but it was a Christmas tree reed diffuser and it was like a ceramic tree like a neutral, very me, and then reeds in the top. Let's do b &M first. I've kind of got a little bit of a mixture of stuff. One Christmassy thing I do have is I bought this roll of wrapping paper. I probably didn't need to buy it like now because I don't have any presents to wrap yet, but I thought I'd just get it whilst I was there. Hopefully the camera can kind of pick it up. It's got, it's pink and white. Well, it's very pale pink actually on the background, um, but it's got nutcrackers, little candy canes, Christmas trees, hollies. It's just very sweet and pink and girly. And yeah, just thought we could have maybe a little bit of a pinky theme this year. I can't remember what I did last year. I think it was like silvery presents. I try and like wrap them nicely with bows and things. That's actually something I got as well, which wasn't b and but I got this from Amazon. And it's a ribbon basically, but it's a chiffon ribbon. I thought that this would be super nice around presents. There's three rolls of this 
and I don't know how long they are each actually but they look pretty long so I should have plenty to do all my presents in this I think it was about £10 be so nice for like wedding DIY as well because it's a beautiful like pale blush chiffon but I thought that these would go nicely together and I'll probably get a different wrapping paper as well maybe something that's more plain or maybe just like a block colour and I can mix and match the presents a little bit so not that I've bought any presents yet I'm not that prepared actually that is a lie I've bought a couple of things for Trester he might appreciate something that doesn't have this really girly print on it and he might prefer something that is a little bit more block colour maybe like a silver or a white creamy kind of paper something that matches in with the colours there are there is some gold in here as well so maybe I could get some gold paper it's really good value eight meters for one pound fifty they have loads of different wrapping paper loads of different themes bows gift wrap gift tags tissue paper just literally everything and they had them all in the themes so it's good if you want to like get a specific wrapping theme or um maybe like if you've got children like have one for one child have one for another child and have more fun more family friendly kid friendly kind of ones and they had some more tasteful dare i say kind of wrapping paper and stuff that was suitable for everyone so yeah got that and then got some kind of bit more mundane cleaning things so just got a bottle of bleach i really like this one it's like 80p as well so this one is all around our house i also got some white vinegar spray which absolutely stinks i haven't used this for a while because it smelled so bad i didn't really want to use it to be honest um but i've seen some cleaning hacks on instagram i think and someone said this is very 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 good for the shower and the shower screen and i thought i better just try it and i've seen someone that mixes i think it's this maybe by carbon of soda soda but i might have made that up um but then they put some drops of like essential oil in it so it smells a little better so i was thinking i might do that rather than just using it neat i could put some drops in it maybe i don't know that wasn't particularly expensive either they've got all the cleaning needs i actually got two bottles of bleach because obviously it's needed i actually didn't go wild in b&m this time you'll probably be pleased to know for me but this which is kind of like a cozy wintry cleaning product it says it's a seasonal scent so i'm assuming they only bring this out at this time of year and it has snowflakes on it as well so i'm assuming it's quite a christmasy scent um so it's the zaflora vanilla and amber basically concentrated disinfectant what am i trying to say get my words out vanilla and amber is like completely up my street so i'm hoping i'm really gonna like this when you smell it in the actual bottle itself it's so concentrated that i don't think you get a true reflection of how it actually smells but it does smell really good even when it's super strong so i'm excited to use that i love using this well for anything basically you can mix this up really for any kind of disinfectant in a bottle um but i love using it in the sink you just pour like a capful in the sink top it with hot water either from the kettle or run your tap really hot um and then it kind of disinfects you can put your sponges in it disinfects it and the smell kind of goes all around the kitchen and all our all around our downstairs really so it's a great way to spread a scent throughout and also disinfect at the same time so i really want to get the spray of this as well because i love the zaflora sprays for the like surfaces and using in the kitchen in particular but they didn't have it they only had the cranberry and orange one which i think was the seasonal one um which i had last christmas and was really really nice or last winter period and that was really good so i would recommend that one but I'd quite like to get this one for a change, but they didn't have it in my B&M. It's kind of another Christmassy thing. Well, everything's kind of Christmas branded, even when it's not a Christmas product. But this is just a giant thing of fairy liquid. I always decant mine anyway, so it didn't particularly matter. It had a Christmas sticker on, because I've got a little... Um, it's totally unnecessary, but actually is a really great thing. I love having it. So it's like a um, container that has like a pump on it i decant my washing up liquid into that and then that just sits on the side rather than a washing up liquid bottle this one is spiced apple and it smells really good if you like apple-y scented things you'll love this it smells really good and we do a lot of washing up so i do find that the scent of the washing up liquid makes a big difference and it's just like really nice when you can smell 
smell it quite strongly when you're doing the washing up so a couple of little other bits i got some exfoliating gloves i actually don't know how much these were and um, because i didn't have a price but i didn't think they were that expensive my guess would be they were somewhere between 99p and one pound 50 um but i use these all the time exfoliate exfoliate dead skin cells off my body pretty gross but we all need to do it and particularly for tan you know scrubbing those last little stubborn bits of tan off usually i just buy these from amazon but i needed a fresh pair so saw this and i thought i'd just buy one finally i found the labels I, if you've watched any of my other kind of bnm videos before you may know that i've been looking for these labels for months i have only ever been able to find the spices labels and not the actual kind of pantry kitchen usual household essential labels so really nice i love the writing on them they're really inexpensive as well these were two pounds for all these labels which is really good price so it has things like pasta spaghetti rice um the oats self-raising flour tea coffee snacks treats caster sugar sugar those types of things so i probably won't need or use all of them but things like pasta i have nice containers that i've decanted stuff in that i just got from ikea but i've never had any labels so far and we've lived here like coming up to like 18 months so yeah it's been a while these would be really nice to label up the containers and then the final thing i got these were kind of a display thing but also great to use um and i thought they'd be really good as well for creating content on tree neutral collection and lighting up a candle so there's just something really aesthetic i use a lot of the electric lighters but there is something aesthetic and fun about striking an actual match and these come in a really nice jar that you could use for other things as well these ones have black tips i don't think they had they might have had different colors maybe a pinky color as well um but i went for the black ones the jars really nice really thick really premium they were four pounds but i do feel like it's a really luxurious product and it looks super nice on a display as well like maybe have a candle and have these next to it yeah four pounds i thought was a bargain I haven't seen these before they have a little kind of pad on the bottom which is where you strike the match so you just take it out and then strike it on the bottom i think that's everything from bnm quick diet coke break i think i already showed you the bits that i got from costco a lot of it was food stuff that went straight in the freezer and we've been eating it over the past couple of days actually and it's all super good Esther and i were talking about it actually and we were like we should just keep doing this now we've had an unfortunate scenario but at least we've had the opportunity to have like a clean slate with the freezer and everything's been emptied out we may as well just start as we mean to go on and kind of just fill it with things that we really will eat and also stuff that's like really good and premium quality going to costco is actually the way forward for us for the freezer i would buy so much more if i could from costco but we just don't have the capacity and storage to to hold it i think everything's just sold in such big bulk that you just it's unnecessary especially when there's only two of us as well like we don't even have other mouths to feed certain things are probably a bit more expensive but i think certain things are really good value 70 ios is for like less than 10 pounds is ridiculously good value in my opinion so we also got two of these or two more shall i say of these blankets which i don't actually know if i ever showed you when we got the first one a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago we bought one of these blankets we have it just on the sofa here and it is incredible like seriously the best blanket probably ever owned and i've owned a lot as soon as we started using it we were like right well it is big enough for the two of us but we know that one of us will hog it so we're like we definitely need another one we need to get another one and then basically we said one of these would be really nice on our bed upstairs as like a throw we were only going to go get one and then we decided that actually we need two for downstairs and then one for upstairs as well and i've also ordered some new cushions for or cushion covers which i'm going to swap out so they're a bit like more wintry i think they're like a velvet they're kind of like a light velvet color i really hope they're going to be nice i thought i'd swap those out put this throw over and make it a bit more like cozy and wintry in there and swap out the kind of light gray bedspread and cushions that we currently have and make it a bit more cozy and wintry i think these were about 40 pounds each but they're pretty big they're like furry on one side they're like a softy velvet on the inside they're really premium they are the softest things i've ever felt in my whole life it's literally like stroking the softest dog ever they're beautifully presented it's kind of a shame taking them out of this because it's like a leather kind of holder um, harness type thing but worth taking out because they are so soft and so comfortable and yeah 
they're like the best purchase ever but if you do go to costco these would make a great gift in my opinion my mum was like to us can you not wait for them for christmas and we were like we actually can't like we need them now now we've had a taste of them they're just needed they're so nice i've already thought to myself these could make quite good gifts for other people depends on budgets that you spend on people but if you have like a 40 pound budget maybe on like a couple or something and you don't know what to get them I feel like one of these would be great. Two of those to add to the collection. And then the last bag I've got is the H&M bag, but I've actually got some other bits in here that I got from TK Maxx and the range. So I'll show you those bits first. So from TK Maxx, firstly, I got this, which I thought would be super lovely for storing cotton pads in. It's really premium. It's quite heavy, but I thought it would look gorgeous on the side. If not cotton pads and cotton buds, really, really nice design. This is very similar kind of design to the soap pump that I have that I use for washing up liquid that I was saying about. It was 10 99 but I thought it was totally worth it. And yeah, it's really weighty lovely lid design it's just perfect and it'll look really nice on my dressing table i also have a new dressing table chair actually but i need to tidy up around there and then i think when the cushions come maybe i'll show you a little bit in the bedroom probably in the next video i'll show you the new chair and hopefully the new kind of improved bedspread and yeah we're just gonna have a little bit of a tidy and refresh up there as well the other thing i got which i just couldn't resist which is a christmasy thing is this gorgeous plates in all honesty i have no idea what i'm going to do with this i mean it would be a beautiful serving plate especially if you host a lot maybe with buns or mince pies or something but i also think it would make a gorgeous like display item i don't know if it would stand properly but just like displaying on the side because it's so pretty i love this kind of like design it's very popular now to have these like kind of townhouses i've seen a similar doormat christmas doormat from h&m home which i have had my eye on for a while actually which is this house cut out and it's really really sweet and one of the things i absolutely loved about this which has kind of sealed the deal is i don't know if you can see but down here there's a little person and she's walking a dog and that dog is a sausage dog so i was like it's so cute and tasteful and really nice and neutral but it's got that little nod to the sausage dog on it i don't know slightly obsessed with sausage dogs i don't have one but hopefully that will be on the cards in the future don't know when but at some point a kind of subtle nod to the sausage dog borderline obsession we went into the range i didn't get much but i just got a couple of other cleaning bits so first of all i got some of this for breeze i've not had this before but i feel like some of our upstairs area just needs i don't know if it's the washing at this time of year because sometimes it can smell a bit like fusty it takes so long to dry but it's like each individual item doesn't smell but it's just like the air i don't know specifically what it is but i just feel like we need a little freshen up so yeah got some of this to try and just spray on just spray on kind of like the bedding and the carpet and things and just hope it gives it a nice little fresh lease of life this is quite a summery fragrance actually but it's the mrs hinge pink tulips and white jasmine just a great little freshen up product so i don't usually use a lot of wipes now but i usually use like a spray microfiber cloth but i do find wipes really handy for upstairs on my dressing table when i just need to wipe down wipe around the surfaces and things just so i can store these like underneath my dressing table and they're there when i just need to give it a click wipe and clean down i think they buy a brand called Sensaroma. i've seen this before but i've never actually tried them and they are the winter berries which is very on trend and they smell really nice a little bit like the cranberry and orange fragrance but a bit more berry rather than orange obviously um, but yeah thought they were cute little wintery packaging and perfect for wiping down the surfaces as i say it's just a lot more convenient when i need to wipe down upstairs and i also got a top of this which is the 1001 carpet fresh apple and water lily which i just need to do with the carpet space upstairs basically just like make it snow kind of thing you just like throw it all over the carpet spray it all over the carpet and then you can leave it for a bit to soak in and then you can just vacuum up or I think there's other ways to use it actually. It says you can use it after as well, after or in between vacuums. And then I bought two items from H&M, one of which I think might be a little familiar. And the other thing is something I didn't try on last week, but saw it with my mum and she was saying I tried some bits on. She was like, yep, yeah, try it on. And so I did and I actually love it. And also it was a total bargain. So I got this blouse and it's really beautiful actually it was only £12.99 which I think is such a good price especially nowadays everything's so expensive but it's just kind of like a floaty blouse I actually 
got this in an extra large because I prefer my blouses to be more floaty so I didn't try on any other size maybe I should have tried on the large as well but we felt like this one in the training room fit nicely so I just went with this differ so much in sizing at H&M the sizing is incredibly inconsistent I'll show you the thing I bought in a minute which was a coat which I bought in a medium my blazers I wear a large sometimes my jumpers I can be a medium I can be a large and then in this blouse I happen to go for an extra large but it is a bit more roomy but I'd rather that size so I think just as an overriding rule to live by sometimes it's really difficult if you're not in that mindset but just I am totally in the mindset of not worrying what size I am as long as I feel happy and confident in the outfits I'm wearing nobody is looking at the label nobody knows unless if I tell you what size jumper or blouse or coat or anything you're wearing it's how you look it's how you feel um, it's how you carry yourself, it's whether you have confidence. Sometimes sizing up is a good thing, sometimes sizing down is a good thing. You know, if I wore a large, for example, in everything, some things wouldn't fit as well. So um, I am just more than happy to size up and size down and not worry and let it affect me mentally and think, oh, well, that's because I am an extra large. It doesn't matter, like, okay, in this blouse I am an extra large and then in the coat I'm medium, it's fine. So little preach there, but I, struggled for a lot of years and a lot of like teenage years growing up thinking and when I went on like a healthy journey before quite a few years ago now and lost a lot of weight I was desperate to get into a certain size I was like I need to be in a size 12 to 14 I have to be in a size 12 to 14 and then actually like when I got there and I was more of like a size 14 consistently I still felt so rubbish about myself and so rubbish about my body and now I look back on pictures of myself and I think what on earth like I looked incredibly slim and most people would think that a 14 isn't like super super slim but when you're taller as well and like like I am everyone carries weight differently so everyone's sizing is different and no, no one size fits all so yeah I just think now I'm kind of more in the mindset of it doesn't really matter what size I wear as long as I feel healthier and happier and feel confident and it fits me and I don't feel like it's clingy in the wrong places or that it's baggy everywhere like I'd rather something just fit right so on that note I got this blouse in a little bit of a bigger size just so it could hang looser this definitely does need a top vest top underneath it's very sheer but that's fine I just need to get a little black vest top for it oh yeah I think you can kind of see that it's not too bad I think if I wore like maybe a black bra or black it wouldn't be as bad but when I was trying this one I was wearing a white bra it was very very obvious especially in the lights so this would be so much better with a black vest top underneath it's kind of like a bit of a high neck situation going on but it's really nice super flattering on me love the tiny little puff on the shoulders like the balloons out into this gorgeous cuff sleeve with the little buttoned detailing really nice they have this in a few different designs and colors but this one is a bit of a geometric type print and it's very different from anything I have but actually something that I feel like I needed in my wardrobe it's really nice this I thought with leather leggings would just be perfect going on quite a few different nights out and I'm going away with the girls in a couple of weeks time now so is it next week when you see this it might be next week that we're going so this will be perfect we're going to like an Oktoberfest thing on the Friday night and we're going out for dinner and drinks and pretty much a bit of a night out on the Saturday so I thought this would be great for one of those nights this feels like really premium and lovely a top on 99 I love that it's amazing and then I got the coat when you're seeing this the previous video I went on a shop with me I went to H&M and did some try and clips in the changing room and I tried on a coat and I wasn't too sure about it and I tried it on in a large and just felt it felt a bit boxy and oversized but the actual coat was gorgeous so when I saw my mum on the Sunday even though that's like, so it's like a week ago when you're seeing this video. I said, so I've seen this coat and I feel like I need to go and try it on again and see if they have it in store. And I feel like I need to try on the medium just for peace of mind and see if that fits me any better. So I did and I'm so glad I did. And mum was like, it's really nice and I love it. So I got it and it's beautiful. It's kind of like a creamy, very creamy, very pale beige colour you can kind of see the contrast a tiny bit like this jumper is more of like an ivory colour and this is much more of a beige tone but very very pale beautiful 
big statement collar detailing. It is more of a slouchy boxy coat. I think I will wear it undone most of the time. But with my new bag crossbody, I just thought it looked so nice. Quite weighty, it's very premium. It was 40, how much was it? It was 54 pounds 99. So a little bit of an investment, but in comparison to a lot of the coats I've been seeing, even on the high street, they're mega expensive. And I thought this one was actually really reasonably priced. It's a bit longer as well. It'll keep my legs nice and warm in the winter. It looks really nice just with leggings, jumper, throw the coat on boots, crossbody bag. You're like good to go. It's a really put together outfit. Literally minimal effort. And just, I feel like a coat, a blazer, they're just like my go-to. It's like throw a coat on, throw a blazer. You just feel put together. I know that's probably like the most overused phrase, but you do you just feel like you've actually put together this really nice outfit and really it's very very little effort and I'm wearing all comfy stuff underneath I put it on but I'll actually stand up so I can show you it full body or as much as I can because I'm not very good at getting my whole body in but I stand up and show you so hopefully you can see this properly but yeah this is the coats on love the kind of like throw on and go kind of look of it as well I'd also be pretty much always wearing it with my bag across I just love the colours of it. I love the kind of like smart detailing of it and it just feels really like premium but also just so easy, like ridiculously easy to wear. Very, very pleased with this purchase. I think with some chunky boots, it's like the perfect just everyday autumnal wintry coat but I literally love it so much so it's perfect and I'm really glad I got it. At the minute it seems to only be available in store but I will leave it linked if it's come online already. Super nice, haven't worn it out yet so I'm not sure where it's gonna have its first outing to but I thought with the addition of my new bag as well that the tones are just really complimentary and it looks super nice with a light jumper underneath which I have quite a lot of like this ivory one I have like a mole colory one as well these are from M&S but when I tried it on in the changing room before I think I was wearing black jumper underneath and it looked really nice with black as well that's like a lot of my wardrobe neutrals blacks more like monochrome tones I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this blouse but I feel like something like that would also go really nicely with it it's just a really versatile just a versatile and easy coat to wear so yeah I've actually got a manga order that came um I haven't even opened it yet but I know that I ordered a few coats in there so they might all be going back or I might maybe keep another one I will see whether I like them or not but most of my coats that I usually go for are like double breasted styled buttoned coats and I really really love them but there is something about this that's a bit different and nothing that I really have which is just more of like a slouchy little bit boxy oversized fit that I would probably size down I think I've really benefited from sizing down and going for a medium instead so that's all the bits that I got from my shopping trip with my mum the other day really love everything and now it's time to unpack and disperse stuff because leave it waiting for the haul um so i'm going to get my nails done this evening so i will take you along with me to my appointments not sure what i'm going to get yet i'll have to have a think and a little google for some inspiration good morning i am just kind of coming on to round off this video and it's absolutely chucking it down so i don't know if we're expecting a storm or something this weekend but it's a really gloomy and very, very rainy day today. My new jumper on, which is from Primark, which I showed last video, I think at the end, actually really love it. It's really soft and really comfortable. And also got my hot water bottle because it's freezing. My friend is coming around this evening and we are going to see S Club this evening, which is super exciting. I'm so excited to see them and have a dance and have like a really good night. I think it's going to be like really high vibes tonight and we're just going to have a lot of fun so it should be coming around at some point this afternoon um maybe after work i'm not sure yet but at some point i'll basically expect whenever she turns up which is with it being so gloomy i'm not really sure what to wear i think i'm going to do like a leather leggings and blouse because it'll be warm inside but obviously it'll be dreary and cold and miserable walking around in town so i thought i would start a new vlog and show you the bits that we got to this weekend i've got a couple of things to show you that have just come today so firstly i got this top up well i've not had it in a while actually but i've had it before and it's the fenty lip gloss really nice i wear shade fussy which is more of like a pinky pinky nude i would say i've had the shade fenty glow before which is really popular as well so i've got that and then also i got some of the huda beauty concealer to try never tried this but it just keeps popping up on my instagram of people using this especially makeup artists i already have probably plenty of makeup and plenty of concealers I actually did a really big clear out threw away so much stuff that was old that i'd kind of been like 
hoarding and holding on to which I never use and it had no value to me I just wasn't parting with it so I've had like a really big declutter both of which I bought from Boots they do sometimes have good offers on it Boots like they do 20% off premium beauty um, and they've also now with like Christmas approaching got some really good star gifts and things I've got those a couple of new bits and then also thought I'd just show you this I finally got around to putting my pumpkins out it's nearly time for Christmas now but got some little bits so these I got from Etsy these are little small pumpkin tea light holders which I need to replace the tea lights and now um little pumpkin season candle that was from the range it was from TK Maxx and then this is recent just from B&M showed you this in my haul which is really nice I think at some point I'll put a tree neutral collection candle on here as well I've also got this room spray from the white company which is super nice. A few different fragrances of this, but they are really strong and really nice when you've got guests and stuff coming around to refresh the hallway. These flowers I have had for so long. I think they were from Amazon. They actually could do with a bit of a clean. And the vase, I want to see TK Maxx, but I bought these when we very first moved out, so I've probably had them like three or four years. If I can find the exact roses I bought, I will leave them linked, but they're really sweet, actually. And then the newest item is this little lamp. So in here, we don't have any electrical sockets so we can't put a lamp when the light isn't on as i showed you before it's quite dark I found this little lamp on amazon and it's amazing so it's charged by usb it's wireless so it's just rechargeable they had a few different variations but i loved this one and i love the gold detailing we don't have much gold detailing but i think it looks really nice turn the light off so i can show you it just looks super nice on the display and then you just click the button and it comes on and then when it's kind of evening time it looks really nice gives a bit of light it also has three settings so it has like a bluer light which looks very blue on camera it's not anywhere near as blue it's just a cool light there's a warm light as well which is nice and then it just turns off I thought it fit that display beautifully I love it so perfect little addition i think it was about 20 pounds from memory maybe 17 pounds something like that but so worth it and it's really nice i mean it's really quite really lightweight but just perfect and i love the design really really love it so i'll leave that linked down below anything else if you're interested in i know pumpkin season's kind of coming to an end but if i can find these still on etsy i do think they were kind of running low on stock just from a small business but yeah i love how this has looked it's taken too long but at least maybe for next year or the future or whenever then i'll know that this looks really nice on this tray in the hallway so love the lamp just thought i'd show you those last little bits and in this video here as i say i'll probably start another one and pick it up and take you along with us maybe to see some of s club don't know what we're getting up to tonight we might go for some food like i say i'll start a new vlog and we can catch up properly in that and i'll show you what we're up to yeah thank you so so much for watching i know this is probably going to be another long one but i really hope you're enjoying them and i look forward to hopefully seeing you in my next video next sunday see you soon mm -hmm.